Hey everybody, it is Ryan, aka Northern Lion, but we're talking on a more personal one-to-one -one level right now, so why don't you call me Ryan? In any case, I am coming at you with a quick channel update, as I often do when we have some exciting stuff coming up. So I've got three or four things to talk about here, I'm going to get through them as quickly as possible, so you can get the most packed, dense information in as short amount of time as is particularly possible in this situation. In any case, first things first, I noticed a little bit earlier this morning that we crossed 140,000 subscribers on the channel and I just wanted to issue a quick and informal thank you to everyone who has continued to support the channel over its, you know, two and a half to three year lifespan so far. It means a great deal to me uh, and, and I'm always excited to see that we are, are crossing these milestones. Even though 140,000 uh, might not seem as exciting as something like, you know, 100,000, 150,000, or 200,000. Every time we cross a milestone like this, it is meaningful to me. So again, I appreciate your support uh, as the channel continues to grow and actually thrive. Everything's going really well right now. Second thing on the list. I took part in a true PC gaming roundtable, I guess, for lack of a better word. It was basically like a podcast for this website called True PC Gaming, uh, where I discussed... Among other things, a lot of topics tangentially related or directly related to indie gaming. So we talked about things like, uh, you know, the successes and failures of Steam Greenlight, what it actually means to be an indie developer in 2013, you know, whether that definition is anything but superficial at this point. Uh, you know, the, the nature of piracy for indie games versus AAA games. In any case, it's a really interesting and a very mature discussion, which is, you know, in contrast to stuff that I do a lot of the time. And uh, that was with me, the guys from True PC Gaming, which is Adam Ames and uh, Phil Cordaro. Cordaro. Uh, as well as Rockley Smile joined us, you know, friend of the channel, Nick Reineke, uh, as well as another YouTuber known as the Pixel Pirates. So there will be a link to that podcast. It was about an hour long in the video description below. If you're at all interested in some fairly intellectual discourse on the nature of indie gaming, I encourage you to go check that out. It should be up around the same time as this video goes up. So go, you know, get it while it's hot, essentially. Point number two or three, depending on whether you consider that informal thank you for the subscriber milestone to be uh, a formal point. In any case, point number three, let's say, is that PAX East is coming up this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I am going to be there. So I want to talk about two things. One is uh, the kind of content that I will be producing as a result of PAX East. I'm not going to be doing any on-the-floor filming and, you know, uploading during the weekend of, of PAX coverage. Uh, I'm not bringing, like, a cameraman or anything like that, like Mike and I might have done at uh, PAX Prime last year, even though those videos never eventually saw the light of day. Um, what I'm instead going to do is I'm going to, I've got a lot of press appointments set up, uh, I'm going to check out a number of games, uh, on every single day, both AAA and indie. Uh, I'm going to interview the developers, and then I'm going to use footage that I've captured on the floor or video assets from the developers to put together short previews that are authentic to my experience, you know, whether I had fun playing with the game or not, as well as, uh, the developers' intentions for further development. So those should be showing up eventually. Again, Anything could happen, but uh, that's my intention right now. The other thing is, if you are also going to PAX East, you might be interested in meeting me. I'm not going to do any kind of formal meetup, because quite honestly, this might be a little bit selfish, but it makes me a little bit uncomfortable to be the center of attention like that. Um, but by all means, if you see me on the show floor, uh, feel free to come up and say hi, take a picture, whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm totally open to, to that. I just don't know if I have a high enough opinion to myself to set up, like, you know, we're all gonna meet at Dave and Buster's at 9 for the Northern Lions show, right? Like, you know, maybe one day, but but not today, shall we say. Uh, in any case, though, uh, again, I want to reiterate, if you do see me at PAX East, don't hesitate to say hello, I love meeting you guys, so, you know, if you recognize me from the thumbnails or from my voice, which is probably more likely, feel free to say hello. I'm gonna be with uh, Josh, who you might recognize a little bit more, because he's been on camera a little bit in his own videos, as well as uh, Nick Rockley Smile, who again, you might recognize. So, we'll be hanging around the show floor, uh, feel free to come by and say hi, but we're not gonna probably advertise our positions, because we will be busy getting some work and some fun done. The very final channel update I want to issue here. By the way, well, while I'm got at PAX East, there should be uploads, even though I won't be, you know, at my computer. Uh, in any case, the final thing that I want to say is I, I want to talk a little bit about the Northern Lion Live Super Show. You might have been seeing these live events pop up on my channel from time to time. I have indeed been going, like, headlong uh, into streaming these days, and I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. So consider this my strong encouragement to check out the Northern Lion Live Super Show, which I run every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 3 p.m. Pacific Time to 6 p.m. Pacific Time. That is 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you know, Greenwich Mean Time, that's something like 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., which I apologize for. But the VODs are available on YouTube as well. Every stream, um, myself, Rockley, Smile, Josh, and a, a revolving cast of kind of special guests like Omrecker, Michael A.L. Fox showed up for a while. Uh, we play some video games. I usually play an hour and a half of Dark Souls Invasions, which are obviously a fan favorite. And then an hour and a half of something special. So, you know, last time we did like a, a Worms match with me and Josh against Nick and Mike. We also did a, a showdown effect 
match where it was like YouTubers versus fans, where we got a, a chance to play against the people who were actually watching the stream, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, on Monday, I'm going to be playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon for that second segment. And we give away five games every single stream uh, with a trivia challenge that I do. So... Uh, again, we, get, we give away like five games, usually of stuff that I've played and enjoyed on Let's Look At. It's like on Monday, I'm going to be giving away copies of March of the Eagles. Uh, last stream, I gave away The Bridge. The stream before that, I think it was The Pit. In any case, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it, it's probably my, the favorite part of my content that, that I've been doing lately. So I encourage you to come by and check that out. Uh, there will be a link in the video description below to the stream that will be up the same day as this channel update video goes live. But again, in any case, thank you guys for your support. Check out the true PC gaming cast if you're into some kind of intellectual discussion of the nature of indie games. Find me at PAX East and say hello if you are interested, but uh, if you're not going to be at PAX East, look forward to some kind of coverage for that coming. And check out the Northern Lion Live Super Show. Four out of five doctors agree. It's a good time, but in any case, again, thank you guys for watching and for your continued support, and I will see you next time.